Praise the Lord. Today, God is asking one question. What are you sure of? Jeremiah 17.9. If you check your heart, then you can understand what you are sure of. Jeremiah chapter 17, uh, has, um, Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? Jeremiah 17 uh, chapter has uh, described about three types of heart. Um, how the hard heart, the trusting heart, a tested heart. Let us check yourself what you are relying on, whether you are relying on the hard heart or whether you are relying on the trusted heart, whether you are relying on the tested heart. Let us talk, uh, talk first about the hard heart. The heart, the, heart become, the heart become hard when we continually do one sin, even when God condemned us through the word of God, but we were ready to lose the blessing instead of um, uh, coming out of the sin. If we are like that, then our heart becomes the hard heart. Um, the sin is engraved with an iron tool inscribed with the flint point um, on the tablets of their hearts um, and on the horns of their altar. If that is your uh, condition, if you are relying on that type of heart, um, because heart is not only a place of emotion, but it is where decisions are made. It speaks of the whole direction of one's life, commitment and priority. So when the sin becomes habitual and we refuse, even after all of the uh, God's words appeal, and what happens is it will lead to a da dangerous spiritual situation, but it becomes even harder to repent. So check your heart, whether you are relying on sin, which you don't want to come out of it. And next type of heart is a trusting heart. A person can trust in a two way. A person can trust a man, a person can trust God. So you can ask me whether God can help us through people, no? So we should not trust man. No, that's not emphasized here. Because cursed is the one who trusts in him, in man, who, who draws strength from mere flesh and whose heart turns away from the Lord. That is the problem. You are getting help from the man, but slowly you're relying on your own flesh and started to turn away from the Lord. Your heart started to turn away from the Lord. That is what is a mistake. So even that person get the worldly blessing, spiritually he's going to be deserted. That's why it is given in uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 6 that people will be like a bush in the wasteland. They will be, they will not see for prosperity when it comes. Um, they will dwell in the parched places of the desert in the salt land where no one lives. Um, so test whether you you having that type of trust um, and the heart is turning away from the Lord. Another person type of heart is that trusting on the God only. So blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord whose confidence is in him. We cannot say that a person who is having they having the confidence in the Lord and trusting the Lord won't face any problem. That's not the thing. Even that person faces um, heat, drought, uh, time of stress, uh, pressure, suffering and need, that person will not fear and continue to bear fruit. Um, that is what represented in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 8. They will be like a tree planted by the water. They send out its roots by the stem. It does not fear when the heat comes. It leaves are always green. It has no worries in the year of drought out and never fails to uh, bear fruit. Check whether what type of heart you are, what you are relying on, whether you are relying on God or relying on the man. That is what is important. The third type of heart is a tested heart. Always we have to uh, set your heart before God and because of God who tests our heart, um, I, I the Lord search the heart and examine the mind to reward each people according to their conduct, according to what their deeds deserve. What type of um, deed or are you relying on? You are relying on the sin which you are doing and not able to come out of it. Are you relying on the people who will help you and start to go away from the God? Are relying on the God? Are you even confident on the God? Even if you face the pressure and um, need in your life and whether you are always uh, testing your heart and keeping your heart in front of the God and allowing the God to test you because the God is the one who searches the mind. This um, When we do, when we trust on the God, then we'll have a safe hope. Um, Jeremiah 17, 13, 14 says, Lord, you are the hope of Israel. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved for you are the one I praise him. Because Jeremiah is a man, um, he, he is a man who relies on, on not only on the God, not on the himself, not on the people's help. Um, that's why he's having the safe hope. Um, Jeremiah was born when the wicked king Manasseh was still ruling Judah. He was raised in the small town called Anathoth, um, which is um, a few miles away from Jerusalem. His father was a Hilkiah. 
Lazar was a priest, and therefore Jeremy entered the priesthood at early age. But probably when he was 21 years, God called him to uh, to be to to work as a prophet. Immediately he left the priestly work and he started to uh, work as a prophet. And he was about 40, 50 years do the uh, prophet ministry. But um, his entire life was very lonely. Even his friends and relatives wanted to kill him, plotted to kill him. And God instructed him not to marry and raise a family. He had no one, uh, no companion in his entire side except, except Baruch. Baruch was a man who was acted as a sec Jer Jer Jeremiah's secretary and who helped him in his writing and all. He's only, when Jeremiah uh, decayed, he started to write. He was acting as a secretary. We don't know anything about what happened to Jeremiah at the end of the age. People, tradition says he was killed by the Jewish people in the land of Egypt. But in all this situation, he trusts God and rely on the God. Check your heart, whether your heart is hard-hearted, whether it's a trusting heart, whether there is a tested heart. I want to pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for revealing that. Um, uh, help us to ch check or test our heart, my Lord, and uh, let us rely on you only, Lord, not on the men, and let help us to uh, come out of your sin, which was engraved in your heart. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.